Hi everyone, I'm Deepa and I'm building AI tools to help nonprofits free up their time so they could focus more on their mission. I'm just going to show you how AI is going to 10x nonprofits. Um, so I've been a nonprofit professional and I know how much time it takes to write grant proposals and how important grant proposals are because all the good work that you want to do is dependent on you being able to write a great proposal and getting the funding that is needed for you to do the work that you need to do. I built a tool that can help you generate grant proposals or create grant proposals in minutes. And uh, I'm going to take the case of Eli and I'm, I'm just going to describe what I want to write the proposal for. And in less than five minutes, it's going to generate an entire proposal. Goal is to help nonprofits leverage technology by holding monthly events inviting tech experts to talk to nonprofits. Simply describe it. You don't have to frame proper sentences. You can just put in just a description of what you want to write the proposal for. Even broken English is fine. And just hit create. And based on the description, the AI builds out this template. And as I said, I, I've worked in grants. I've written many grants. I've won grants from the likes of Rockefeller Foundation. So. This is a standard grant template. It's, it talks about the problem statement, proposed solution, goals, and objectives. So, but based on the brief description that I provided, the AI has written the statement, it's written the solution briefly again, but this is not the entire proposal yet, but this is a chance for you as a nonprofit grant writer for you to make changes here. If our goal is to empower nonprofits with the skills and tools necessary to effectively use technology in their operations, we aim to achieve this by hosting monthly events. If you want to fine tune this, if you want to find a new plan of action based on your, your project, this is a chance for you to do it. But I'm not going to make any changes right now because I need to, I just have five minutes. And here's the eligibility assessment because you're applying to a donor and each donor has their eligibility criteria. You can copy and paste the eligibility assessment here. And the AI will summarize how you meet that eligibility criteria. What are the areas you're not meeting? It'll highlight that so you can work on that. And so it does the work for you. I'm just going to say I'm ready to generate the proposal and I say generate proposal. Now this step takes about precisely three minutes. And as I said, I've written many grant proposals that I know how many days of work it takes. Literally, you've got to just putting a proposal together sometimes takes seven to 10 days, just meeting with the team just figuring out what will be the objectives, what will be the outcomes, what would be. And here, the AI just uses all of the knowledge. It's the large language models that are trained on uh, all of the knowledge that's on the internet, which is basically human knowledge to build out, to come up with those uh, objectives and timelines and deliverables. And you can tune it at that step, at the template step where I talked about it, if your goal is to reach uh, 500 nonprofits, maybe, uh, and the AI said 300, maybe you can adjust it there. So you can fine tune it for your proposal, but just uses all its knowledge to build out a complete grant proposal for you in less than five minutes. So AI is going to 10x the nonprofits, and this is a, a great uh, example of that right now. How can people uh, get access to this interesting new tool? Yeah, so this is invite only. I have many nonprofits trying it out right now at this point of time. So if anybody's interested, feel free to connect with me. I'm happy to extend this invitation to all the people who are here and happy to work with y'all closely because I'm trying to get as much feedback as possible. It's also a new way of thinking. Any apprehensions you have or if anything else you would like to be added on to this template that's not there right now, you could. But anyways, it should pop out a proposal any moment. It generated the entire proposal. Give it a title. A executive summary was auto-generated. Anything that's highlighted in green is for you to double check because this information the AI came up with, This they, it explained the problem statement. It coded N10 talking about the statistics uh, related to nonprofits and the awareness of our technology, because as nonprofit professionals, we need to make a compelling case about why we are doing what we are doing. And so it describes uh, the problem really well. It's come up with a proposed solution is to host monthly events, featuring tech experts, providing nonprofits. It's detailed out the goals and objectives. Like this is something that I would have to sit and 
compute. Like when uh, in the past, when I've written proposals in Singapore, I worked for a, a, a global nonprofit that was working on in the area of sanitation, and I had to sit and write proposals. Like if we provide toilet so what are the goals and objectives going to be but the ai has done the thinking for me because all this as i said large language models are trained on all of human knowledge which is, happens to be on the internet and and it's trained on all of the internet but again this is something that you need to check that verify whether you're going to reach 100 nonprofit organizations so it's up on eli to decide like how many what the outreach plan is going to be ensure that at least 75 percent of when attendees report an improvement in the operational processes. So it's written an entire proposal for Eli if he wants to submit it to Texo uh, to get some funding for the Western Capital chapter. <laughs> and this is a pl plan of action. It's even come up with timelines and deliverables, uh, which obviously you can take this proposal, go back to the person or the team that's going to implement this. It's come up with the evaluation plan. What are the metrics? Because every funder wants to know how you're going to evaluate the success of your program. So it's done that and it's come up future funding is something that the uh, the funders ask like how, how do you plan to keep your program growing once the grant period is over the key personnel so it's um uh, partnerships and stuff like that uh, organizational information something you can just copy paste and put it and it'll, it'll nicely craft it for you in conclusion and in case you want to go back and make any changes like if you've discussed it with your with your team and they feel like certain things need to be adjusted you can go back to the same template, adjust the metrics here. If you want to fine tune the metrics or anything, hit another, I want, I'm ready to generate the proposal and then just generate another proposal. So that's about it. So this is tuned on grants. It's highly engineered to write grants. It's something that I've worked in my life. I've written many grants. I've also given grants as part of my role at Salesforce Foundation. So I totally understand the space really well and I understand the pain points and how we can now leverage AI to really free up the time of the fundraiser so they could maybe look out for more grants, apply for more grants. Every time you don't apply for grants, you miss out on that opportunity. So every grant not applied, you totally miss out on that. So it just frees up your time to, to do more. Yeah. And so this is just one piece of the puzzle that I'm solving at this point of time, but I'm building an entire range of tools to help nonprofits find who my funders are going to be. How do I report? Once you get the grant, I need to submit a report. So how do we, how can we use AI to just facilitate all of that? Awesome. That looks really powerful. And as Joel said, it solves the problem of, oh my gosh, I have an empty page. Where do I even start? Like now it becomes a, an iteration and editing process as you and your team work to get towards the grant that you actually need 